Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the new Avant Garde 2017 deck from United Cardis and the Edgy Brothers. All right, so what's the deal with this deck? Uh, first of all, United Cardis, if you're not familiar with that already, uh, it is a forum. It's a forum for card collectors, uh, people that uh, just like to do magic with cars, people that like to do flourishing. Uh, if you're not a member of United Cardis already, I would definitely head on down there and become a member today. Uh, it's a fun group of people. It's a great place to hang out and talk about cards. Second, this was a Kickstarter. Of course, it was successfully funded, and these are the cards. And this is also uh, another year in addition. Uh, so you, every year, United Cardis puts out another uh, one of these decks. You might remember that their first uh, deck that Randy Butterfield put out, that's still one of my very favorite decks of all time. So it's definitely cool to see uh, the past years and how uh, United Cardis has put out some of these really cool decks. This one, this one is produced from the Edgy Brothers and they were the artists behind it. As you can tell from the tuck case and of course the name, uh, the theme of this deck is that it is inspired by avant-garde. It is an artistic movement along with art deco. Uh, it has very art nouveau elements and so as you can see, uh, wrapped around this tuck, uh, just a beautiful blue and silver foil. Uh, that isn't black matte, that's actually kind of almost a black gloss. The tuck case is made out of a soft touch 300 GSM black art paper, and it does have two foils there, both blue and silver. So it's a really super gorgeous tuck case. Across the front it does say Edgy Brothers, Uri Cardis, Avant Garde, 2017 playing cards. One side says designed by the Edgy Brothers and the other side says United Cardis, 2017. The bottom has some ad copy about the expert playing card company and the top says Poker and Edgy Brothers. Uh, the back design of course is the back design of the cards and the tongue flap has a simple EB for Edgy Brothers. This deck was originally released in both green and blue and that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards come to us from the Expert Playing Card Company on their master finish, and they do have a gold metallic ink. They are soft to the touch, uh, thin cards, but stiff. Uh, they are a stiffer card, but thin. So thin and stiff, if you like that kind of thing. Everybody wants to know how these cards feel and how they handle. Best thing I can do is measure them for you. I can measure them with a caliper and then give you a better idea, compare them against other decks that you've previously held or owned. Uh, when I stick these into a caliper, use 10 of them as my standard, it comes to 2.76. 2.76, like I was saying earlier, is thin. Uh, it, actually, as thin as some of the Crush Dock decks that Bicycle's been putting out. So yeah, uh, it's the same thickness as the Roadhouse deck, the Dapper deck that Expert put out, uh, the Murphy's signature knock deck and of course the knight's deck. The back design is a beautiful avant-garde image that has a medium sized to medium sized to thin uh, poker border. The blue and gold tones I think they radiate a coolness that I think fits the design uh, really well especially when if you juxtapose that with the detail of the card back and the tucks. You got kind of a flower image or a mandala there in the center uh, with some uh, outgoing concentric circles and then some beautiful framework to cap it all off. This deck, you're gonna get two original jokers. It is a female jester or joker looking image. Uh, she is juggling and she is uh, colored in one joker and then black and white in the other. The pips and indice cards are all gonna be completely custom. So every single card in this deck, completely custom. You got uh, big, huge, bold uh, indices up in the corner, uh, big fat uh, font pips. And then there's a tiny uh, outline that goes around each of the center pips. Also in this deck, you're gonna get gorgeous courts. Uh, the court cards in this are absolutely stunning. Uh, you'll notice that the colors uh, match the deck. So these blues, soft greens, and silvers are really going to match the overall theme of this. Everything has been completely custom. Uh, not so much that the characters aren't holding the same weapons. Dressed uh, similarly, you still have the one-eyed kings, one-eyed jacks, uh, suicide king like you normally would, but just some really super gorgeous artwork from the Edgy Brothers. Your Ace of Spades has a giant blue center pip spade there uh, that has the same image that you see on the back design of the cards. Uh, it does have a beautiful font up in the corner and it does say Edgy Brothers in green, Avant Garde, United Cardist, 2017, fifth annual deck. 
And that being it is the fifth annual deck, if you do like this uh, deck design, I would encourage you to go back and look at the previous four generations. You might want to add those to your collection as well. All right, so that is my review of the Avant Garde 2017 deck from United Cardists and the Edgy Brothers. As always, I recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just so that you can stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. And if you need more content, you can always find it at magic orthodoxy.com. Thanks. Bye.